Hey everyone, Tony Joe here from Remax in Victoria, British Columbia, and it's January 2017. Time for me to give you the uh, real estate update here for the capital region for the month of December, and also talking about the year end. So what happened this year? We ended up December with 471 sales uh, compared to 465. Now, you're gonna find this interesting because this is the first time in a while that um, comparing a month from the year before, the gap isn't very big. It's only 1.3% this time. There's a reason for that too. Get to that in a moment. Uh, we had 392 new listings versus 451 last year. And we ended the month with 1,493 listings versus 2,517. So we're down. 40.7% in terms of inventory compared to a year that already was a low inventory time last year. So as I was saying, the reason why our sales level is lower right now is not because there's a lack of interest. There's a lot of interest out there right now. There's a lot of people who are looking at properties. The problem is there's not a lot of things to see right now. We know as a fact, there's a lot of people out there that would like to move right now. And they have an idea that it'd be relatively easy to sell their house. But the question is where they're going to go to. So it's a bit of a deadlock. Uh, what we really need to see is we need to start seeing some more inventory out there in the marketplace. It will cause things to happen. And that moves us on to what I think is going to happen in 2017. I feel we're going to have a very strong year. May not be equal to 2016, but once we start seeing more inventory roll into the marketplace, we're going to see a lot of these people that have had the desire to move for some time actually start moving. Now, um, where we're at for units for the year. So we ended up 2016 with 10,622 sales. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is the highest we've ever recorded as far as sales in Greater Victoria. Uh, the runner up year was 1991, the year I started 25 years ago, 9,241 sales. So we uh, blew it out of the water quite a bit higher. Uh, just to give you a comparison, by the way, money wise between 2016 and 1991, uh, we sold in Greater Victoria six billion dollars, roughly worth of real estate, whereas in 1991 for 9,241 sales. So you know, let's just say that's up maybe one and a half, two percent. Uh, it was 1.5 billion dollars in 1991. So the values quadrupled, whereas the number of units uh, was only a little bit more. Obviously, properties are much more expensive now as they were back then. Uh, talking about price. Uh, we ended up, the average price for a single family home in 2016 was $754,586. Sounds like a lot. Uh, we're up 16% from 2015 year end. Uh, we did hit a record in November of $852,000. Now, I talked about this back then. That doesn't mean that all properties went up that much at the time. We did have a number of very high value sales at that point that skewed the average. But we always look at six or 12 month span as opposed to just one month. Anyways, getting back to what I think is going to happen in 2017, like I said, it will be a busy one. It is just a fact. There is a lot of demand out there in the marketplace. At least for the next six months, I can see things very busy. We know because we have buyers uh, who have been anxious to find properties and all of our colleagues have as well too. So, um, wow, interesting year for us. It was our most productive year uh, in the real estate business. Um, not an easy year by any means because of course we're scrambling to find people homes. Anyways, that's my report for both December and 2016. I'm Tony Joe. Thanks for watching, and I'll be here this time next month.